Hey everyone, it's Sharif Hashizumi here and I'm back with a new module review. So before I get started, I'd like to say thanks for tuning in and I hope everyone's doing fine despite this really challenging and weird year. And I'd like to personally thank Martin from Rebel Tech for sending me this beautiful module to review. Yeah, I'm really excited to review this because it's a small module, but it really packs a punch. So I had to play around earlier and it's very musical and all the presets that comes with it is really, really useful. And it really integrate into your system really well, very quickly. So without further ado, let's have a little overview of Lich by Bafaco and Rebel Technology. Okay, so let's start with the general overview. So it's a 12 HP digital module where you can load different patches as a preset and you can basically transform the module into a particular set of functions. So yeah, let's talk about the layout. So the main things are the four knobs, which is named A, B, C, and D. And underneath it, you can see there is four dedicated CV inputs and a dedicated attenuator for the each input. And on top of it, you have two LED push buttons, which is also linked to the two gate inputs at the bottom. So you can see it light up when it receives the gate on those inputs on the bottom. And the top right corner, you have the rotary encoder push button with the LED segment display, which lets you select different presets. And it also works as a status display. So it makes it really easy to know where you are and what you're doing. Now we're moving on to the ins and outs of the modules on the bottom. So you have your stereo input which is left and right. So it works as a stereo module, which is handy. You can also transform this into a CV input for things like a one volt per octave and pitch bend and stuff like that. And there's a two gate inputs, as I mentioned earlier, which are linked to the LED push buttons. And then the gate out with the little LED indicator when the gate's on and off, which is another handy little feature. And it's really nice all the outputs are colored differently to the inputs. Then we have two CV out and then two audio out. And now we're moving on to the left top corner where there's a USB port. And these two ports, this can be really, really powerful. And uh, we're gonna demonstrate it a bit later on in the video. So yeah, as you can see, there's two ports, USB-A and USB-B. And the reason why for this is, so you can use a USB-B port to connect to your doors and laptops and PCs and stuff like that. And then on top of it, you have your USB-A ports, which works as a MIDI host. And what it means is you can basically directly connect any MIDI controller with USB ports into Lich. And via MIDI CC message, you can actually access all the hidden parameters if your patch has those parameters programmed in. And it ships with four different presets, which are Silky Reverb, Stereo Tap Tempo Delay, Harmonic Lich, which is eight partial harmonic oscillator, and then MIDI modular, which is bi-directional MIDI to CV converter. And the great thing about Lich is it doesn't stop there. It's not just four presets that you can recall, but you can actually go to Rebel Tech's website and you can have instant access to over 250 user developed patches that are freely available to anyone thanks to their OWL framework. 
And since I mentioned OWL framework, if you're familiar with coding languages such as C++, Faust, Pure Data, and Max MSB Gen, you can actually design your own patch and run it on Lich without too much hassle. So yeah, now you can see why I said it packs a punch. For a 12 HP module, you can use it as an effects unit, you can use it as a sound generator, utility module. Uh, the list is basically endless. And there's a lot of tutorial videos on Revel Tech's site of how to do the coding. So yeah, go and check it out. See if you can get into the headspace of coding. It's a great way to learn how to code your own audio DSP for the hardware, which is quite exciting little project you can do. Okay, so I think that's enough for the um, overview. And I think it's time for us to actually check out how the harmonic glitch will sound like. So yeah, let's uh, get cracking. Okay, so I'm gonna load up harmonic glitch, which is preset number three. So dial and push in, and that's how you load new patch. And I'm gonna open up the VCA. So knob A is your root note select or course frequency in a more sort of traditional VCO terms. And then the B is your fine tune. So you can tune this oscillator to whatever tuning that it has to be in. So these two are more sort of standard VCO controls that you can find in any uh, oscillators. But the control C and D gives you much more interesting sonic sculpturing capability harmonic glitch can offer. So knob C, according to the manual, is the harmonic center shift. As I turn the knob clockwise and anti-clockwise, you can start to hear a subtle tonal shift in the sound, but it's not too apparent at the moment. You will hear the effect of harmonic center shift a little bit more when we play with the harmonic tilt, which is assigned to knob D. So let me quickly explain what the harmonic tilt on knob D would do. And what it does is when I turn it clockwise, it starts to turn down fundamental and more lower harmonics or partials. And when it passed three o'clock, it starts to turn down the higher partials as well, creating the kind of bun pass effect. And I find it, it's really fresh new approach to the way we mess with the tombra. Now I'm gonna go back to knob C, which is the harmonic center shift. And as you can hear, the effect of the center shift is a little bit more apparent now. I'm going to turn the knob D, which is your harmonic tilt, going anti-clockwise. And basically what you're going to hear is more of a low pass and then the bun pass. Because when it gets to minimum, it will sound the same as the maximum. It's just the position is inverted. And then we have the two LED push buttons and these two buttons offer a further partial editing functionality. So left button mutes the odd harmonics, forcing the oscillator to spit out the triangle wave. And then the right button, which mutes the even harmonics, which forcing the oscillator to sound more like a square wave. And since these two buttons are linked to the gate inputs on the bottom, so you can feed the gate sequence to automate those partial mutes. You can also press both buttons and that completely mutes the oscillator. As you can see, there's a lot of sonic sculpturing capabilities on the fly the Lich can offer you. So as you can see, I patch my one volt per octave CV into the left input because that's how the harmonic glitch is programmed. And then I'm just gonna turn my sequencer on. 
And I'm going to turn my constant CV opening the VCA down. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to patch gate sequence into one of the gate inputs. And as soon as I patch something in, you can see the LED button lighting up and indicating it's receiving a gate sequence. And now let's patch it into the gate 2, so it flips between the normal and the square wave, which personally is a little bit nicer to the ears. And now I'm going to patch a slow envelope into the CV in of the knob D to modulate the harmonic tilt. And then I'm going to grab the inverted pitch CV and then patch into the harmonic central. I'm going to turn the attenuator all the way down, patch it in. And then I'm going to turn it a little bit up so I can just sort of fine tune where the peak is going to be. So yeah, as you heard it, it's really musical and beautiful sounding oscillator. And since it's digital and the course tuning actually locks into the each note, so it's much easier to integrate it into your door production and stuff like that. So for the final section of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the MIDI host capability of Lich. And by doing so, I'm going to plug in my USB MIDI controller and eight faders and few drum pads which spits out the midi note and i'm going to demonstrate the individual partial editing via midi cc message and i can also show you on the fly key change on the musical sequence okay so as you can see on my midi controller i have eight faders which are all assigned to the each partials of harmonic glitch via MIDI CC message. So when I open up my VCA, you can just hear a note. As I start turning the faders down, you can hear each partial's levels are attenuated. And when all the faders down, there's no sound. And as I turn the fundamental up, second harmonics, third, fourth, fifth, so on and so forth, so you can start to hear the timbral change in the sound. I also set up drum pads with different MIDI notes. So every time I hit, you can hear the root note of modules changing. So as you can see, you can actually have extra control of all the hidden parameters of your own DSP. And for me personally, it really opens up so much more potential. So let's turn the music sequence back on. And I'm gonna have a little jam before I finish this video.
Okay, so thanks for sticking till the end. And I hope this video uncovered some of the mystery of this new module. Um, this is really only scratching a small surface. This really incredibly powerful module. So if you really want to know more about this module in detail, please go to Befaco and Rebel Tech website, which I'm going to link on the comment section. And again, um, thank you to Martin at Rebel Tech and all the people at Befaco to actually send me this beautiful module and letting me play with it and make a little review video. I'm really honored and I'm genuinely excited what to do with this module because as some of you may know, I use a lot of Max and Gen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to some of the old Owl patch and I'm going to update some of it and make it a little bit more compatible with this newer version of the framework. So when I do it, I'll let you know. Hopefully I can make a series of tutorial videos of how to do it in the hope that it will encourage everyone to jump on the bandwagon. So until next time, stay safe and happy patching. See you soon. Bye.